Yo, what are you doing in my gear closet? I'm gonna go show you how to make some playthroughs. Let's go. Yo, what is up? So today I'm gonna show you how to make this space that's very dark back there. I'm gonna make that look like a professional studio in your own home so that you can make your own guitar playthroughs or bass playthroughs or even drum playthroughs. You can use this same thing to do it. I don't have drums. I would love to show you some drums. Maybe that'll be in another video. I can definitely make something happen for that. And I'm also gonna show you how you can do it when you have no lighting and you have a completely budget setup. So that's even on your phone. Phone. It's gonna be a different setup, but it's gonna work the same sort of way. Now let me get cleaning this thing up and setting it up for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you a few little lighting tips too that will help to really sell this as a professional production, even though it's just at your house. So let's wrap this up so you can see the final product. This is no in-camera effects, boys. This is real. Pretty sick. Okay, so here's the chair that I'd be sitting in and I have my guitar there just to kind of find the focus and know where everything is. Then there are the two lights. There's my backlight pointing straight back down at me here. And then there's my key light and that's just my big old softbox there kind of pointing down. Try to get back as far as possible to show you exactly how everything goes and just for reference my camera that I'm using right now would go right about there. Actually, exactly there on that tripod. <laughs> now you're in my video. You did it. There's my second angle right there. I'm pretty much backed up into the wall here in my studio. Okay guys, so this is a very simple setup. Might look complicated if you haven't done anything like this before, but I assure you this is like as simple as we can get for making something really, really professional in your house. So first things first, I got my cheap softbox here. If you check out my budget YouTube studio thing, I tell you how you can get something like this. I think it's like even under $100 now. The key to this here is the way that it's coming out. You want it to be like top down, but really soft. So if that doesn't make sense, like let me know in the comments. There's tons of YouTube tutorials on how to light certain things. I can also make a little bit more to teach you guys a little bit about different types of lighting and all that. And then the next thing is the backlight. And you're just gonna want something that's just on the edge of your back here. So you can see how I'm separated now because of this backlight. That backlight is like a key to really just making something pop. Uh, another fun thing to add RGB. Check this out. Boom. Okay, so that wraps it up for this setup. This one definitely looks a little more professional, a little more polished. Look at this guy. He's so damn cute and he wants all my attention right now. <laughs> Now I want to show you how you can get a similar effect, same sort of setup, but in like a bedroom, in something with just a, a large window, so you can get a really good image even though all you're using is a phone and like window light basically. Okay, so we are up here in the bedroom. This is the space that I picked because it is big. It's got lots of depth, so you can see, you can get like a, some sort of blurry background kind of thing going on here. I also uh, picked this spot because it's nice and bright. Right now the windows are closed, the uh, blinds are covering the windows. And then once I open these blinds, it makes this, this room really bright, which really gives it that vibe that uh, we're going for in this playthrough here. And lastly, it is relatively clutter free, so it's really easy to clean this spot up. So what I wanna do now is set up a two camera setup. Now if you only have like one phone, that's totally cool. We can just record it and then re-record it with a different angle and be able to splice them together. So I'll show you both of those things. And then yeah, we can get started. Oh, Okay, so here is the zoomed out version. There's the ottoman that I'm sitting on and the guitar. And here, just to show you how low budget you can go right now, I'm just leaning this up on a few things here. And I'm literally using laundry baskets to hold this camera. So you don't even need a tripod, really. Separate your space. Another thing is keep these lights off. So that's the setup. It can be this simple. You really don't need anything else. So you can just get rid of this camera up top and you just have your phone placed right there. Basically, I wanted to show you how you can get just a better looking image for your guitar playthroughs. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Really hope you got some value out of it. Let me know what you did. Like show your, show your playthroughs below and let me see uh, exactly how you use this setup to make you know better looking stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited to talk to you guys in the comments and uh, we'll see you later. Thank you.